Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this lecture, you will learn about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are organic compounds that provide energy and structure to living organisms. One of the most important and very well-known carbohydrate, known as glucose, found in many foods such as bread, potatoes, vegetables, fruits, and honey. Did you know that our brain uses only glucose as its energy source? Without enough glucose, our brain simply can't function properly. Did you know that carbohydrates are synthesized by plants? Plants use a process called photosynthesis to make their own food. During this process, they take in carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil. With the help of sunlight, they convert these raw materials into glucose that serves as the primary source of energy for plants or stores in the form of starch and both are known as carbohydrates. Let me define carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones. Poly means many and hydroxy means hydroxyl group. So polyhydroxy means having many hydroxyl group. Aldehydes are a type of organic compound that contain a carbonyl group. This carbonyl group is located at the end of the carbon chain. Ketones are the organic compounds that contain a carbonyl group bonded to two other carbon atoms. I have an example for you. Glucose is a polyhydroxyaldehyde because it has multiple hydroxyl groups attached to its carbon backbone and contains aldehyde as functional group. So we can say that glucose is a polyhydroxyaldehyde. Did you know that carbohydrates are named because of their general formula? The name comes from the fact that they're made up of carbon and water. Carbo means carbon and hydrate means water. So when you put those two words together, you get carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are classified into monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharide. Monosaccharides are basically building blocks of all carbohydrates. They're the simplest form of sugar and cannot be hydrolyzed. Why monosaccharides cannot be hydrolyzed? Hydrolysis is a chemical reaction that involves breaking down a compound by adding water. But since monosaccharides are already in their simplest form, so there is nothing left to break down. Oligosaccharides are basically just chains of monosaccharides. Oligosaccharides give 2 to 9 units of monosaccharides on hydrolysis. For example, when we hydrolyze sucrose, which is a common table sugar, made up of glucose and fructose, we get those two individual sugar molecules. Polysaccharides are macromolecular carbohydrates, consisting of hundreds to thousands of monosaccharides. One common example of a polysaccharide is cellulose. Cellulose is a complex carbohydrate found in the cell walls of plants. It's made up of thousands of glucose monomers that are linked together in a linear chain, provide structural support for plants. Monosaccharides can be further classified on the basis of number of carbon atoms. They consist of 3 to 9 carbon atoms. Therefore they are classified as trioses, tetroses, pentoses, hexoses and so on. Trioses contains 3 carbon atoms. Tetros contains 4, pentos contains 5, and hexos containing 6 carbon atoms in their chain. The important monosaccharides are hexoses, like glucose and fructose. Now we are going to be talking about classification of oligosaccharides. Depending upon the number of units they produce on hydrolysis, they are classified as disaccharides, trisaccharide and tetrasaccharide. A common example of a disaccharide is sucrose, which is known as stable sugar, made up of glucose and fructose. An example of a trisaccharide is raffinose, which is found in beans and other legumes. Raffinose is made up of glucose galactose and fructose. Stachose is a tetrasaccharide, which is found in soybeans and other legumes, consisting of two galactose units, one glucose unit and one fructose. Polysaccharide can be classified into homopolysaccharide and heteropolysaccharide, depending upon the type of monosaccharides. A polysaccharide that contains the same type of monosaccharides is known as homopolysaccharide. For example, cellulose is an important structural component of plant cell wall, consisting of a linear chain of several hundred to many thousands of glucose units. A polysaccharide that contains different type of monosaccharides is known as heteropolysaccharide. Heparin is a polysaccharide that's found in our blood 
and plays important role in preventing blood clots. Now we are going to discuss different characteristics of carbohydrates. Monosaccharides are white crystalline solids. They are soluble in water and have sweet taste. They cannot be hydrolyzed. They are reducing in nature, therefore, these are called reducing sugars. Oligosaccharides are also white, crystalline solids, and easily soluble in water. They are sweet in taste, and can be hydrolyzed into simple sugars. They may be reducing or non-reducing. Polysaccharide are amorphous solids. They are insoluble in water and taste less carbohydrates. Polysaccharide hydrolyzed to give thousands of monosaccharides. They are non-reducing in nature. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.